What's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome today to another Bands You May Not Know. Um, today the band is Bay Faction. <coughs> I hope, I hope you haven't been sleeping on this band. But if, you're, if you are, if you have, that's what this video is for. Uh, I am your host, Corey James. So, Bay Faction is a little band out of... Let me, let me look again. Because I just read it. Berkeley. Um, comprised of... Just read that too. James... Man, I missed the whole... I just lost that. everything right here. James, Chris, and Alex. Alright, so, anyway. I've been listening to this band for like... Oh, wait. My microphone's not even... Not even over here. <clears throat> Alright, well, anyway. Um, I've been listening to this band for like two two years, maybe three years. Actually, maybe four years. Um, they had a they had an EP on Bandcamp that was uh that was called Jasper that I'm pretty sure you could probably still find on YouTube at this point. Um, and then after that they released a full length uh, self titled Bay Faction, and it was brilliant. Um, it was refreshing and different than anything that was around at the time that I was listening to. Um, very indie, uh, indie pop rock, like with a little bit of grunge and punk mixed in there at times. Um, the James, the lead singer's vocals are just just so different and low toned and. It's got a weird, it's got a very jazzy feel to it at times. Um, not his vocals, but the whole band itself. Um, yeah, so then uh, there was a you know big lull there for a while where I hadn't heard anything from them. I didn't know if they were going to release anything or if they were just done, you know. Sometimes, you know, self working bands tend to do that. Um, then I started following uh, Bay Faction on Twitter, and they were getting way more active. And uh, the lead singer slash guitarist um, started releasing some singles himself on Spotify and doing a lot of live things. And you know, he had uh, Pendulum came out, and Are You in the Mood? And these were some huge, heavy hitter singles that were showing a shift in the direction of where he wanted the band to be or whether I didn't know whether or not it was just going to be him from now on and with those songs that he released I was okay with that um, they were brilliant and they still had that vibe that, that uh, the self-titled album had but they were going more in his style direction especially with him working alone at the time I assume he was working alone that's why he was probably doing a lot of solo stuff um, And then, here we are, well, we're in 2019 now, but 2018, December, like, the first week, maybe second week of December, they kept hyping up that they were about to drop an album. Um, him and the three, two other guys uh, had been working on Florida Guilt, and they released uh, released a couple out, a couple singles. Um, let me look at the singles real quick. Uh, <coughs> they released... Uh, it's perfect and one thrill, and man, like just yes. Um, personally, a direction that I've been going in with music is more of a uh, '80s, maybe pop synth, indie, even R and B direction with my rock bands, but still have that that foundation of being a that you can tell they loved punk when they were teenagers you know what I mean like everybody that came from a, a, a punk teenage era of their lives no matter how old you get and how mature you get and you feel like you're you know you're over that angsty age that you you know that you used to love punk and all that stuff it's always rooted in anything you do and that did not fall short in Florida Guilt. Uh, Florida Guilt was way more um, 
uh, Poppy, Cynthia, um, than it was than than it used to be, and I was 100% okay with that. Um, but like I said, you still got that under underlying rock punk vibes to it. Um, very, the lyrics were very reminiscent of youth, of what you went through as a teenager. You know, love and what you were thinking, and how everything was just so dire. Things that you th you know now when you're older that probably aren't that important were everything when you were younger um, so it's just got a really cool vibe and it takes you to a different time in your life um, it's it's definitely more like uh, drum like more of uh, the singer guitarist James's uh, style overlapped with um, some drum it seems to me like some electronic drum tracks uh, a lot of like you know two four beats which is okay because it's very driving. It's very uh, pop synergy, like '80s vibes going on through the whole album, and, and it fluctuates. You got the like coming in with a uh, uh, fake snow globe. It's it's just him with his guitar, and it's real slow and melancholy feeling, and and it, and it brings you from kind of from like the feeling you get from not having anything for a while. And then the second track just is real poppy and bubbly, and and I love it. It just it brings you right back in, shows you where they're going, shows you where this album's gonna be. Very driving. Um, there are a few tracks where you can tell that it seems like they actually had their drummer laying some some recordings in there and everything. And uh, I think I, I have to say my favorite track off of there was Donor, because I love to dance. That's that's my main thing with bands lately. I, I've been you know like with a I did a video on uh, on Bill Murray. If the band if you make me dance without me even like thinking about it, I just a track comes on like like Downer or Donor, and I start dancing. You probably won me over. Like Florida Gill, um, you're not my top album of 2018. You're probably my second album of 2018 because I have to give the first spot to Bill Murray. Of course, um, I, I don't think I stopped listening. I still haven't stopped listening to that album daily since it came out um, early summer of 2018. But Florida Guilt just capped off my 2018 with a brilliant album that I have not stopped listening to in my car daily. It's a little short. Um, with the tracks being, you know, under two minutes, you, you knock out nine tracks within what, like, twenty minutes, I think, is is the album, and that's okay because they got a lot of singles, so you can just throw in those singles with it, and you'll get basically like a full length album. That's what I do in my car. I, I just, I usually just put on the whole library of Bay Faction, and and, and you know, I can knock it out within an hour, and they're all brilliant. Every one of the songs are amazing. I don't think there's one song on that album that I'm like that I would ever skip you know like you gotta listen to it from beginning to end because it's and that's another thing with bands um, nowadays there's no reason we're not in a one hit wonder era anymore there's no reason why you can't take the time and put the effort into an album to make me want to listen to it from beginning to end to make me feel like I went on a, a trip a journey with you in your mind and what you were trying to put into this album and Florida and uh, Bay Faction just nailed it in Florida Guilt. They made me feel every detail and feeling that they were pumping into this album. The 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 vocals I have to always come back to the vocals of Bay Faction. James's vocals are just just so amazing and different than anything you're gonna hear nowadays. Like it's it's so old school like you know, like, James Dean, you know, like, uh, type style, just, you have to listen to it. Um, I'll probably have some of the tracks um, faded into the background here for you to listen to as, I'm, as we're talking about it, um, and so you can get a feel for it, but go check them on Spotify, they're, you know, a lot of their old stuff's on YouTube, you can watch all all the, the live sessions that, that the singer has done, they're just, just as amazing as the, the recorded versions on Spotify. Um, so yeah, uh, this is Bay Faction, and bands you may not know. If you don't know them, go check them out. You know, like I, I, 
I know this is stuff that's, you know, hitting for me. I think it might hit for you, depending on what your taste is. I mean, if you're wanting some freaking thrash heavy metal right now, which I have been kind of moving away from, this probably isn't for you. But that's not, I mean, I'm, I'm all mixed. You know, I like, I like the whole spectrum of music and, and Florida Guilt has, has been hitting nice with me. So check them out on, I'm sure you can find it's social media, it's 2019 kids, like look them up, you'll find them anywhere. Um, buy some of their merch, support them, because we need more music like this. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me, uh, I've been Corey James, this is Bands You May Not Know. Um, if you're on the Suicide Moses Productions channel, like, share, subscribe. Check all the other shows out. We got, you know, the Let's Draw. We got the Random Comic Books Review. We got the Wrestling Roundup. We got the Strange Planet Podcast. Tons of stuff. Uh, we got all the live performances from, from bands that I've done. We got a lot of albums that I've recorded in the studio here. Going up constantly. I'm constantly trying to put even older albums on that I've recorded. You can also go to the Suicide Moses Productions Bandcamp. And all the music that I've ever recorded in my lifetime is on that page. Um, and spend a little money. It's all cheap. It's like under five bucks, almost everything on there. Uh, support the channel. Let it help it grow. You can listen to the Strange Planet podcast on any service that has podcasts. iTunes, Google Play Music, um, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio. Like, seriously, anything. SoundCloud. If you do that, you're also you're going to hear some ads. It's the only place we run ads at the moment. So that helps us make a couple freaking cents a day. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. This has uh, been Bands You May Not Know. See you next time.